It's Saturday morning. Welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Today's psalm is number 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. My soul shall glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look upon him and be radiant and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor soul cried and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is gracious. Blessed is the one who trusts in him. Fear the Lord, all you his holy ones, for those who fear him lack nothing. Lions may lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, my children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is there who delights in life, who longs for days to enjoy good things? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hears them and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and will save those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous. From them all will the Lord deliver them. He keeps all their bones so that not one of them is broken but the evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants and will condemn none who seek refuge in him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of the new creation. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Today we're reading from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, beginning at verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armour of God, so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, 
against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armour of God, so that you may be able to withstand on that, day, on that evil day, and having done everything to stand firm. Stand, therefore, and fasten the belt of truth around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak so that you also may know how I am and what I am doing. Tychius will tell you everything. He is a dear brother and a faithful minister in the Lord, so I am sending him to you for this very purpose, to let you know how we are and to encourage your hearts. Peace be to the whole community with love and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who have an undying love for our Lord Jesus Christ. Here ends the reading. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Song of Christ's Glory At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And so let us pray. Father God, we pray today for our homes and for those that we live with. Father, we pray for those whom we are separated from. Lord, we pray that our homes may be places of love and safety, that they may be a place of comfort and of peace. Father, we pray for all those that we care for, for those that are dear to us. Father, we pray for the lonely and the lost, we pray for those who do not have anywhere to live and we pray for those whose home is not a place of safety. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.